Hey, what's up, everybody? Doran Aldana here coming at you with another kick-ass episode of the Art of Mortgage Marketing podcast. Last episode for 2023. Here we go, finishing off with a bang. And as we launch into the new year, knowing that 2024 is your year to soar, we want to plan to prosper. And I'm going to give you some tips, some strategies, some insights on how to do exactly that today. No matter what you may have faced in 2023, whether it was a challenging year or a thriving year, whether it was a year you never want to repeat or whether it was a great year and you just want to better your best, this session is going to give you some insights on how to better your best, how to continue to build momentum. And if you've been sucking mud with concrete blocks on your feet and you've been in a, you know, I can't afford a prison ever since rates went up. And inflation and hyper competition and limited inventory kick the snot out of your pipeline. I want you to know that what we'll talk about today, if you will follow it, if you will practice it, will allow you to win in any market, not just a fair weather market. But just know this that if you had a challenging year, if you're coming out of a year where it's like, I never want to repeat that again, you've come to the right place because today's session is going to teach you how to never have to go back to the suck of spinning your wheels and living in I can't afford a prison ever again, no matter what market conditions you may be facing. So if that's good news to you, you've definitely come to the right place. And if you're already winning, we're just going to help you win more and take things to an even higher level, soar like the eagle that you know you're capable of being and called to be at an even higher level. So if that's you, again, you've come to the right place. So let's dive in, shall we? Let's talk about your marketing plan for 2024 to make it the year you soar. I'm going to give you three simple steps on how to do that today. So the first step is get clarity on what your happy dance number is. What's your happy dance number? I'm not talking about being realistic and having something reasonable. That's a great way to be mediocre, by the way. It's just being reasonable, realistic. I hear that all the time. People are like, I just want to be realistic. I don't want to set my hopes too high because I'll be disappointed. And I can appreciate that. I've been there too, where you set realistic goals just to have confidence and certainty that at least you're going to be quote unquote successful, right? But the problem with that is you end up having really lame, lackluster goals don't give you much juice because they're just lame. It's just paying the bills. I mean, if you would just have a goal to pay the bills, does that really get you out of bed in the morning with pep in your step, spark in your eye? Probably not, right? Chances are what would get you out of bed in the morning with pep in your step, spark in your eye is a big, hairy, audacious goal that scares you and excites you at the same time. That's your happy dance number. That's the one where we're popping the champagne, throw the confetti, do the happy dance because you're excited, you're elated, you're delighted. And that's the number that you want to determine. It's the number that allows you to live the way you really want to live on purpose, with purpose, in prosperity. What's that number? Is it 20K per month? Is it 30K per month? Is it 50K per month? Is it 100K per month? Everyone's got a different number that's their happy dance number. What is it for you? And if you had the proven plan to take the shortest path to the cash to make in money such that it's not about working longer and harder, but it's about just choosing the life you want to live, knowing that you can have it exactly the way you want it. If you don't settle, then it's just a matter of going inside yourself and connecting with what's your purpose? What's your ideal life? What does it look like, smell like, taste like, sound like when you're making freedom money? Get clarity on that. Certainly a good thing to do as part of this process is pull out your journal and your pen and take some time in quiet reflection in the mornings, ideally to write down what would that look like, feel like, smell like, taste like, sound like when you're making freedom money, happy dance money, and just get yourself fully associated with it, fully connected to it in present tense as if you already have it. Because until and unless you see it with your faith eye, your visionary eye, Rarely will you ever see it in reality with your flesh eye. So start from the inside out. As the late and great Stephen Covey once said, start with the end in mind. 
So of course, that's the first step in the process, because if you don't know where you're going, any road will take you there, right? So it's important to know where you're going. Start with the end in mind. So I trust that you have your happy dance number now. Yes. I trust you've written it down. Yes. Okay. So if indeed that's the case, let's move on to the next step. Step number two is determine the number of VIP partners you need to hit that happy dance number. So for example, if your goal is to make 10 grand a month, 120 K for the year. And for you, that would be more than you've ever made in your entire life, perhaps double. Like I want you guys to think about at least doubling or tripling your income. Don't think small, think big, right? If you're going to think you might as well think big. So let's just say, hypothetically speaking, most you've ever made is 60 K and for you, 120 K is bettering your best. And then some doubling what you've ever done an unprecedented breakthrough result, right? For other people that might be like, man, I do that all day in my sleep. I need to double that. I need to make a quarter million. So whatever it is for you, your happy dance number ideally will be doubling what you're already doing, or it's about working smarter where you're doing it for half as much work, half as much stress, half as much time in the office. So that's a cool way to set it up too. Again, everyone's got a different idea of what success looks like. But when it comes to the shortest path to the cash, you always want to be thinking quality over quantity. I talk to people all the time and they're getting 30, 40, 50, 60 leads a month, but then maybe only five are converting. So they get a bunch of chaff, but not a whole lot of kernels. And what that means is they're wasting a lot of time with unqualified prospects, unqualified borrowers. And that's just wasted time, time they can never get back. So I know this is a difficult decision, but what would you prefer to have 15 high quality by referral repeat leads that are pre-cooked, pre-tenderized, predisposed to say yes, pre, you know, sold on working with you before they even talk to you such that you're able to convert, you know, seven to 10 of those 15 into closings, or would you like to have 50 leads and get seven to 10 closings out of the 50? Obviously, the first option is way more efficient than the second option. So when I'm talking about shortest path to the cash, it's not just about getting the cash. It's about getting quality leads from quality partners so you can work smarter, not harder. So you can have a life. So you can have more fun and fulfillment. So you're not wasting so much time spinning your wheels with fruitless toil because there's obviously a big difference between activity and productivity right? We don't want you just splashing around in the ocean going nowhere. We want you paddling powerfully towards Paradise Island. Are you with me on that? I trust you are. So when it comes to VIP partners, VIP partners are top producing realtors who are doing 15, 20 plus buyer sides a year. Okay. So these are not the bottom feeding, whining, simming, complaining, jelly donut eating low producers that are getting chewed up and spat out as rates go up as demand for buying goes down and as hyper competition and low inventory has them going to sell solar or driving Uber. We don't want those partners because they're the ones who are most affected by market downturns first and most affected versus least and last. We want partners who are insulated, who are least and last affected by market downturns, who are taking market share, gaining market share versus losing market and getting chewed up and spat out. Are you with me on that? So top producers, 20 plus buyer sides a year, ideally. Okay. Now we want to build a list of those realtors, ideally a hundred of them, 100 or more. You don't really need much more than that unless you have a goal to make a million, then maybe you need two or 300 of those realtors. We're going to boil those down to maybe 10 to 15 to 20 partners. But here's the kicker. When you have a top producing realtor, in contrast to the low producer who maybe at best is going to send you one, two, three deals a year, a top producer can send you one, two, three deals a month. So massive capacity to send you business in comparison to their mediocre counterparts. So you might be thinking though, Doran, I've tried to go after the top dogs. They're super hard to attract. They're prima donnas. You know, they play hard to get. They don't give in the time of day. They already have their lender. Yeah, I understand that. We're going to cover that in a moment. But just know that 
the only reason why you haven't had success with the top producers is because you've had a flawed approach. I liken it to if you want to catch a mouse, you want to use all cheese, no whiskers, because they love cheese. They hate whiskers. Whiskers are attached to something that wants to eat them for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It's called a cat. And likewise, if you're not having success attracting realtors, chances are is because you're showing too many whiskers and not enough cheese. So we need to have an all cheese, no whiskers approach. But assuming you have that in place, which by the way, is a big reason why smart, ambitious, growth-minded mortgage pros hire us is to learn the secret sauce on how to do that with a battle-tested proven formula that's just stick the key in the ignition and drive away without messing around doing it the hard way, trying to reinvent the wheel. All you need to get one deal per month is one partner. One partner equals one deal a month. So then the question is, how many more deals do you need to get in order to hit your income goal for 2024? Is it five deals? Is it 10 deals? Is it 20 deals? Determine what your gap number is. So for example, if you want to get to 10 deals a month and currently you're at five deals a month, you have a gap of five deals a month, right? That's the bridge that we need to gap that we need to bridge that gap of five deals a month, which means you just need five solid top producing realtor partners who send you one deal a month. See how simple that is? So you don't need 20, you don't need 30, you don't need 40 realtors, low producing, mediocre realtors. You just need high caliber, high quality. And when they go all in with you, and again, that's a big part of what we teach here on Planet Prosper is how to flip the script so that they need you more than you need them. So they send you all their business all the time because you're yourself as a welcome guest versus an annoying pest and you're flipping the script so that they need you more than you need them. Could you imagine that by the way, if they needed you more than you need them, imagine how that changes the dynamic, how that changes the energy, changes everything, changes your posture, changes your mojo, your confidence, your certainty, your swagger factor, you know, to be able to become irreplaceable and indispensable to be that welcome guest where they want to meet with you, where they want to do business with you, where they're chomping at the bit to have the privilege to work with you, right? Changes everything. And once you make that shift, it's like you've been in a dark, damp cave and all of a sudden someone flipped on the lights and turned on the heat. It's a whole new world. It's a whole new world. <laughs> uh, angelic voice, right? Angelic voice. Don't give up the day job, Doran. Don't give up the day job. <laughs> so, now we've determined how many VIP partners you need to be able to get to your happy dance number. I trust you've written that down. If you haven't, go ahead and do that now. How many partners do you need to get to your happy dance number if they're sending you one deal a month? Chances are it's just a handful, maybe as much as 10 for most of you. So once you've got that, you're pretty close to what you need for your three-step battle plan to have 2024 be the year you soar. The next step, of course, is to be able to get the appointments. The most important piece in the equation is getting the appointments. Because unless you have the personality of a rubber boot, and maybe if you do, then you're going to you know, have to be limited to working with other realtors who have the personality of a rubber boot because they're like, hey, I appreciate your rubber bootness. Let's do business, right? So they're going to appreciate that you have the rubber boot personality. But if you have a personality, then you have an advantage because you're going to be able to attract a lot more candidates than just the rubber boots. That being said, we want to be able to get appointments with these realtors. That's the first step in the process. If you can't get the appointment, you can't get anything else. It's like, if you're trying to attract a soulmate, if you're trying to get married and find your soulmate, your journeying partner, your wife or your husband, your spouse, and you're sick and tired of being single, the first step to that process is maybe you might want to start dating or courting, you know, like meeting some people and getting out of the house. And if you can't get that first date, the chance of you getting someone's hand in marriage is slim to none. Same thing with realtors. We got to get the first date before we get the hand in marriage. So the single most important strategy, the single most important activity you can ever be engaged in in your business, bar none, the most profitable activity you can ever be engaged in in your business, bar none, is booking appointments with top producing agents. There is no more profitable, higher income producing activity than booking appointments with top producing agents. 
So that's where we move into our third step in the three step plan to double your income in 2024. And that is block schedule your daily success habits, block schedule your daily success habits. So one of the reasons why people struggle and I've fallen prey to this so much. So I, frankly, um, I'm sharing this message from my own mess. My own personal mess has become my message where I'd be attached to the outcome. I want to get to 200 K a year. I want to get to half a million a year. I want to get to a million a year. And I have these million dollar ambitions, but I still have trailer park habits. And that's a problem, right? When you have that, that dissonance where you have champion level ambitions, but chump level routines and habits, that's a big problemo, right? As they say in Mexico, that's a big problemo. So it's important to focus on the vision and what you want to create in your life, but it's even more important to focus on the process. You need to know the prize that you're pursuing, but more importantly, you need to know the process and embrace the process of achieving it. And so rather than just focusing on your champion level ambition, your champion level prize that you want to attract life, let's focus on the champion level process, the champion level routines, champion level habits. So for example, if you want to be in the best shape in your life in 2024, you want to get ripped or you want to get fit or you want to lose some pounds, you want to you know, get rid of that frumpy middle, whatever the case may be. Chances are there's some changes you need to make to your habits on the daily, the kind of food you eat, the kind of drinks you drink, you know, get away from the soda pops and the alcoholic beverages, save that for the weekend and start drinking more water and more eating more salad and exercising on the daily. If you're not exercising, exercise would probably be a big thing, right? So it's one thing to think about it. Like everyone knows that if you want to lose weight and get fit, you need to exercise more eat less candy, less soda pop, drink less alcohol and eat more lean, you know, proteins and healthy fats and complex carbs and get away from the candy and the soda pop. Right. So we all know that we know that we need to exercise and do that regularly, but very few people actually make it a habit. So there's a difference between knowing what to do. Like we know that we need to reach out to realtors. We know we need to book appointments with realtors. We know we need to, you know, cultivate those relationships on the daily, but very few mortgage pros actually do it. Why? Because they're not embracing the process. Number one, they don't know how. And again, that's a big reason why mortgage hire us is to learn the how crack the code on the how. Because if you don't know the how on the single most important thing in your business, which is originating business, that's a problem, right? It's like, you can be great at doing mortgages, but if you don't know how to attract clientele who need mortgages, we've got a big problem. So we help our clients solve that problem and take the shortest path to the cash to make freedom money in the mortgage business by having a system, a battle-tested proven system for bringing massive, unique value to these top producing realtors and having a process that it makes it easy, breezy, lemon squeezy to book the appointment. So you virtually can book appointments at will with top producing realtors at will to be able to be consistent in that process. So then once you know how to do that process, it's just rinse, wash, repeat and making it a habit. So instead of going to the gym once in a blue moon, when you feel like it and thinking that's going to get you fit, which clearly it's not, you get a membership pass and you block it in your calendar and you make it a Monday to Friday magic morning routine thing where every morning, that's how you start your day. Every morning, You've got a cue that when you wake up, you know, I wake up at 5 a.m. I have some meditation time, some God time, some connecting with my maker time. Then I go to the gym and I listen to inspiration, motivation, education, two birds, one stone, because while my hands are busy, my mind is free, no extra time needed. So I can listen to a podcast, an audio book. When I listen to audio book, I listen to them at double speed. So I can listen to double the content in the same amount of time. You might be thinking, well, Doran, doesn't that sound like the chipmunks, like Alvin and the chipmunks? How are you even comprehending that? Well, you'd be surprised how your brain can process more information when you get used to it. So just start doing it. You'll be blown away with how easy it is to understand it. And next thing you know, quality input equals quality output. The more quality you put in, the more you put out. And as the late and great Albert Einstein once said, don't seek to be a successful person. 
Seek to be a person of value. Don't just seek success on its own. Seek to be a person of value and the success will come to you. And so the more value you become, the more information, the more wisdom, the more skill you bring into your own personhood through personal and professional development, the more you grow, the more your business grows. And frankly, I've been terrible at this in the past where I've been listening to the music instead of listening to wisdom enhancing content because it's just more comfortable and more fun in the moment. But I'm leaving a ton of juice in the fruit, a ton of meat on the bone because I just want to be comfortable in the moment. And I can either be comfortable in the moment or I can conquer my dream and conquer my full potential and conquer my purpose. But rarely can I have both. And so when it comes to your daily routines, you want to block schedule them. And any outcome that you want to produce in your life, your mortgage business and your income goals included, there's usually only one, two, or three habits that push the needle on uh, profit and performance at the highest level. I take that back. It's not that it's usually, it's always, there's always three in particular habits for each area you want to impact, whether it be your relationships, whether it be your income, whether it be your health, your fitness, that if you were to just lock into one, two, or three daily habits or weekly habits, depending on what it might be, and you're consistent with those things, it changes everything. It almost guarantees your success. So here's a really high caliber question to consider as you're planning out your year. And the question is this, what one, two, or three habits, if practiced daily, consistently, would almost guarantee my success? Isn't that a powerful question? It almost guarantees your success if you embrace the process. If you stop freaking out about trying to get to the prize and you just patiently, with a sense of urgency, pursue the process, embrace the process, it almost guarantees your success. So when it comes to your income, I would submit to you the one habit that you want to block schedule that almost guarantees your success is an hour of power after your magic morning routine, after your learn and burn, after your exercise, while you're listening to inspiration, motivation, education. If you're a person who has a religious faith or has a spiritual bent, you might have some God time or some meditation, something like that. And then you go to the gym or you go to yoga. I've been doing yoga for the last year. I've done a whole year of yoga three times a week with exceedingly low ex, uh, low exception. I think I missed two weeks out of because I got sick or something like that, or I went on vacation. But aside from that, I've been going to yoga three times a week for the entire year. I can't tell you how much better I feel in my body. I still suck at it. It's still super hard. It's, su it's way more challenging and uncomfortable than going to the gym. But man, oh man, it's like... I'm a whole new, new person. My flexibility, my mental strength, my mental fortitude, my sense of vibrancy and vitality in my body is next level. I'm a officially addicted, bona fide, certified, qualified, addicted, no doubt about it. And so how did that happen? How am I getting stronger and more flexible? How did I get washboard abs? I didn't get it by going to the gym. I tried that at the gym going to yoga, man, I'm more ripped than I ever have been in my entire life. My core is just sucked right in. I got that outcome and I got to the best shape of my life at age 45. I'm not getting any cheaper or rather I'm not getting any younger. Yeah. I might be getting cheaper, but I'm not getting any younger. Uh, and, uh, I've noticed that my body's getting a lot more creaky as I get older. Now that I'm over 40, it's like getting over 40. There's stuff that happens in your body where, you had no idea when you're in your twenties and thirties, you know, that actually happened. And it's like, man, shit's getting real. I'm getting old, you know? So I'm in the best shape of my life at age 45 because I made it a habit of going to the gym twice a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays, waking up at five, going to the gym at six. And from six to seven, I'm either going to the gym Tuesdays and Thursdays for an hour or on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays, I'm going to yoga and sweating my butt off and getting stretchy. And that 
routine has gotten me to the point after a year of being in the best shape of my life at age 45. So you can better your best. doesn't matter if you're totally out of weight or overweight rather and out of shape and lost all momentum, whether it be in your business or whether it be in your fitness or your health. Even if you're at the place where you're like, man, I am so behind the eight ball Dorn. I've been neglecting and compromising for so long. I've been buying my BS excuses for so long. I've been procrastinating for so long. I'm sick and tired, Dorn. I'm sick and tired of living like that. Well, have hope, my friend, because that is the sole alchemy of transformation, disgust and resolve. When you get to the point where it's like enough is enough, no more. I've had it. I'm done with this. I'm not wanting to go one more day like that. Now you're ready to change your life because winning happens when losing is no longer an option. Are you with me on that? So that is the soul alchemy of transformation. When you hit that, what I call fed up threshold, but we don't want to stop there with just like defiant resolve. We don't want to stop with, Hey, I'm going to go get a membership at the gym. You don't want to stop with that. You start with it and then you block it in your calendar because if you think it is possible, if you put it in the calendar, it's real and it becomes almost inevitable as long as you honor it. So embrace the process. I recommend an hour of power from like 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. Monday to Friday after you do your magic morning routine, after you do your exercise, your learn and burn, your visualization, your affirmations. I go full blown bad, badass on this because I'm a sucker for punishment. So I take a cold shower because after going to yoga or the gym, I'm hot and sweaty. And I learned from Tony Robbins way back in the day that he has a super inflammatory lifestyle doing all those you know, crazy long days, putting on, putting out so much energy on stage at his seminars and workshops that he has a cold shower. And I thought, wow, that's kind of an interesting idea. I'm going to try that. And I've been doing that for four or five years now, cold showers, Monday to Friday. I take warm showers on weekends just to remind myself how normal civilians live. But, uh, and I love those warm showers after a whole week of cold showers, man, I love me a warm shower. It's like, ah, this is so comfortable. Cold shower, you got to breathe through it. You got to relax into it. And it's a practice of getting comfortable being uncomfortable, but the vibrancy, the energy is next level. Like espresso shots, uh, Red Bull coffee. It, it pales in comparison to the cold shower. It's like 10 X the energy. And while you're in that cold water, you're washing away your wimp self, your chump self, your excusitis, and what remains in its stead galvanized in its stead is your champion self. Because when you take that cold shower, if you can get yourself to take a cold shower, you can get yourself to do practically anything. Like calling a realtor, it ain't no thing like a chicken wing. You can do that for breakfast, lunch, and dinner after you take a cold shower. So I invite all of you guys who are in it to win it, those who are truly committed, and those who are like, man, I am so committed, I'm willing to do whatever it takes. You know who I'm talking about, right? Those of you who are defiantly freaking committed, I invite you to cultivate the habit of being comfortable, being uncomfortable and step into your champion self like never before by taking a cold shower and then having your hour of power. The hour of power is when you make outbound call, calls to top producing realtors. Now with our system, you get them pre-cooked, pre-tenderized, hot for what you got, predisposed to want to meet with you before you even talk to them, which is the power of our realtor attraction campaign. So that makes it easy breezy. It's like a hot knife through butter to book appointments when you have that in place. But even if you don't have that in place, just having the cold shower with your hour of power with your 10 three, one, which means 10 outbound calls, three live connections, one appointment, man, oh man, if you'll make that a habit and you practice it Monday to Friday and you do that consistently, I guarantee you're going to book at least two to five appointments a week. And if you do that week in, week out, month, out. It's just a matter of maybe three to four months maximum that you're going to make freedom money, do what you want, when you want, with whom you want, anytime you want, surging money. I kid you not. It's the practice and the habit of it. It's pursuing mastery in that process that allows you to make mastery money. So that's really it. I mean, if you need to get 10 partners to get you to your income goal, your happy dance goal, 
That's like 20 well-executed meetings the way we teach here on Planet Prosper. We're not talking backflips. 10 well, rather 20 well-executed meetings to get 10 partners to be making upper echelon freedom money for the rest of your career. So again, you don't have to overcomplicate it. You don't have to buy a bunch of crappy leads off the internet. You don't have to do open houses. You don't have to do in networking events. You can do that stuff, but all that stuff is doing it the hard way. You'll get way faster, more potent results and progress if you'll just simply make a habit of your 10 3 one in your hour of power every day. 10 outbounds, three live connections, one appointment. Plan your work, work your plan. And the same process works with any other outcome you want to produce in your business or in your life. Because every prize requires a process. You need to determine what that process is and then stick to it daily. Plan the work, work the plan. Block schedule your habits. Block schedule your routines. And I get it done in the morning. When everyone else is sleeping, when everyone else is distracted, when everyone else is doing whatever they're doing, get it done in the morning. Because if you can win your morning, you win your day. When you win your morning, you win your day. So if you're listening to this and you're like, Dorn, this is exactly what I needed. Some good, healthy reminders. We often need reminding with more than we need educating. Some good, healthy reminders. Thank you for the inspiration. I love the idea of the cold shower. Sounds wonderful. Sign up. <laughs> If you're like, Dorn, all this is exactly what I need, but what I really need is some more guidance on what's the secret sauce to get these top producing realtors eating out of my hand? What's the secret sauce to become the welcome guest versus the annoying pest? What's that kick-ass unique value proposition that flips the script so they need me more than I need them? Because until and unless I have that, Dorn, I'm grinding through the mud with concrete blocks on my feet doing it the hard way. And I'm not about to sign up for getting brownie points because there is no brownie points for doing it the hard way. If that's you, then I invite you to go ahead and book a complimentary breakthrough call at mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. Again, that's morning, easy for me to say, mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. And on that call, you're going to either meet with myself or one of my consultants. We will just have an honest conversation. We'll look at where you're at, where you want to be. If we can help you create a breakthrough in your business, by all means, we'll show you what that looks like. If not, frankly, we'll be the first to advise you to pass on our services. This is not a sales call. It's a clarity call. And so we're just here to shine the light of clarity on your situation to see if we can help you. If we can, we'll show you what that looks like. If we can't, we'll direct you to something else that is a better fit for you. Either way, our goal is to help you get massive value, massive clarity, and chances are we're going to have some fun. So if that sounds good to you, and it definitely should, and if you're 100% commissioned mortgage pro, and you're wanting to at least double your income in 2024, you want to increase your income by at least $100,000 or more, then I invite you to book a call at mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. Let's have a conversation and let's see if we can help you. So thanks for listening. This is the last episode of 2023. It's been a blessing and a joy to be on the journey with you. And it will certainly be so. And then some, as we launch into the new year, rates are supposed to go down. Uh, we're expecting some significant rate cuts, uh, hopefully in Q2 or Q3 ASAP. Uh, but whenever it happens, we want to make sure you are positioned to prosper and to win while you wait. Don't hold your breath and waiting for ideal market conditions. You want to learn how to win in any market condition, to prosper in any market condition. And if that's what you want to do and you feel like you need some help to be able to pour some gasoline on the fire when it comes to creating growth, consistent growth in your business, book a call. Let's see if we can help you. MortgageMarketingCoach.com forward slash apply. This is Dorn Aldana coming at you from the Art of Mortgage Marketing podcast. Be blessed and we'll see you next year, 2024 is your year to soar. Let's get after it. Have a wonderful time celebrating the launch of the new year and looking forward to being in your corner on your team to serve, serve you to your dream as we launch into the new year, helping you create a healthy, well and happy new year. Have a great one, guys. Be blessed.